All right, how's it going? Pal, Meadows, Finest, Gamers, and Curious Onlookers, and welcome to episode 12 of Curse of the Island Minecraft Survival. Now, actually, I already pre-recorded in episode 12, however, during the rendering process and while recording it, my Minecraft was extremely laggy for some reason. So now, this is the official episode 12 that will be aired on all television stations. So, um, when we did, or when I was just playing episode 12, which was last episode, or the one we were supposed to air right now, but we're going to have to redo it. That's the reason why there hasn't been a Minecraft episode for the past three days. Just, just so you know, I'm not leaving, I'm not holding out on you fellas, it's just, we've had a bit of an issue with our Minecraft being all laggy and whatnot. But, um, while we were gone, we didn't really do any exploration in the nether, however, we just did plenty of mining, plenty of XP grinding, we messed around with the cows, we built up our enchantment and all that good stuff. Now, that's actually the first thing I wanted to get done today. After eating some steak, of course, I wanted to finish off the enchantment table and see if we can't enchant two level 30 pickaxes. And now I'll take you guys to my stash of diamonds and we'll see how many we can get, build the diamond detector mod, or the- I say that every single time the diamond meter and then we'll go do some strip mining or something like that so first off let's just grab all of this wheat you know gotta grab all that wheat it's the cow drug gets them going and then seeds likewise for all the chickens now that's another thing that's really come to mind I, these real this thought really has no correlation with anything that i've just been talking about but seeing this villager house over here that's all destroyed and stuff I want to start populating the villagers once again. So we'll spawn, we'll get some villager spawn eggs. And eventually a project down the road I want to do is, is start building up some villager houses, say right around here and here so we can have a colony. And then we'll be able to make plenty of cool trades and could do, you know, just some make-believe story quests down the road or whatever you may have it. But um, I do want to do that, not in the necessarily near future, but it'll just be a little fun thing we can do once the series starts dying down. You know, we beat the Ender Dragon, all that stuff, when we start incorporating some mods that make the story a bit more interesting. So, you know, long continuous rants without a whole lot of conjecture, so that's just my idea right there. But for this episode, when we're getting stuff down, down, when we're getting stuff done right at the moment, we will get work done in terms of enchanting. Now, the two pickaxes I'm going to enchant, I want to get one with Silk Touch. I want to get one with Fortune 3. Now, anything else is just happy, fun time for us. Now, in between episodes, I worked with this little walkway here. I made one extra space in between the walkway and the uh, the storage house itself. I also made this a two-walkway or two-block-wide walkway right here. I remodeled the enchantment table area just a little bit, and I put the fences here for additive appeal. But that's just that right there. If you're an interior designer or that's a job you want to be or have, down the road well there you go you can critique me if you'd like <laughs> okay so let's see we have ourselves 10 sugar canes we're going to grab ourselves our leather and all of our books and then we'll have a super fun time in our enchantment room so let's just see how many we have ourselves 10 pieces of leather not a whole lot of sugar canes and just let's just grab ourselves plenty of wood to get the job done let's just put away this dirt we don't need dirt who hired you why let's just put the steak in we're flustered. Okay, so what else do we need? We have all these. Do we have any spare books on our hands? Uh, we have eight. Fantastic. Now, let's see. Completely lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was about to say. Let's just see. We got to put away all of our good stuff right here. Oh, yes. We got to build. We have to build two pickaxes to get the job done. And this is the pickaxe that caused all the trouble. Now, once we have these pickaxes, we are going to go down to the mines now, um, I really don't know how I'm going to play this. I mean, you know, let's just put, I have an idea. Let's just put our pickaxe in there and let's make one more sword. And with this sword, we'll enchant one pickaxe and one sword. Now, my idea here is in the near future. Now, I ha this may be our very first live stream. Now, what I want to do is I want to do a lock continuous strip mine. Attempt to find the stronghold without using eyes of ender quite yet. And possibly an abandoned mine shaft. And then, you know, make some sort of, we can make a really long strip mine and some sort of creative, you know, train tunnel type of area. Something like that. Or if you guys have a better idea of getting around in Minecraft, well, let me hear it. So, let's just see right here. You know, let's just try and make as many bookcases as we want or as we can before we enchant. I believe we only need about two or so more bookcases before we can enchant a full level 30. And then once we've done that, we're all ready to go. We'll head into the nether and see if we can't find ourselves a nether fortress. So let's see how many of these we can make. We can make one, two, three. Okay, three. I believe that'll actually do it. Now, at the moment, I believe our max enchantment is, our max enchantment level, rather, is a level 
26? I don't know. Something like that. Here, let's just see. Okay, so we'll enchain a pickaxe first. Yep, we have a level 30. Okay, well, we have a silk touch. That's all right. I just want ourselves a fortune 3. Now, I'm going... Okay, no, no, no. Come on, now. Give us what we want. Ooh, okay. Now, you know what? I think we should spin this one more time because I've seen level 30s with fortune 3 and unbreaking. So, you know what? Let's just see if we can't get lucky. If we come across another fortune 3, we'll just go with it. Otherwise, we're going to keep spinning until we hit this one more. Yep, see exactly what I'm talking about. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 4, and fortune 3. Fantastic. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, now I want to see if we can get looting on these. Uh, at least a looting and maybe a smite or a sharpness enchantment. Let's see. A fire aspect is cool too. Now, after we get this done um, and we get another... Wait a second. Did my pickaxe not enchant? Oh, dang. I was wondering, I saw my 62 levels of experience. I was like, wait, what? How? Why? Okay, I guess we didn't enchant somehow. I'm not... I guess... Okay. Nope, not quite. Dang, I, I doubt we'll never get a good enchantment like that or one as good as that. We're just going to keep spinning the roulette wheel real quick. Everyone's probably face palming right now. They're like, you had it, and you got rid of it. Well, you know, I, I sometimes I pose a challenge for myself. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I think we just got the same exact thing we just got. Okay, there we go. Now we have it. Okay, so fantastic. Now let's enchant ourselves a brand new sword. Now, whoa, that's a pretty good enchantment right there. Actually, you know what? Uh, hmm. I think I want to save the other enchantment for a diamond tool so you know what i'm going to take you guys yeah let down i'm going to take you guys to the mine where i first found these this pair of diamonds that i've been saving up to do this for and we'll mine them and see how many diamonds we can get now fortune if you guys don't know is basically an enchantment that allows you to get a lot more drops from your ore that drops you know like dusts and or bits and gems so say we have one block of diamond we have a possibility of getting up to six diamonds i believe so two blocks of diamond could possibly yield us 12 diamonds which would be absolutely phenomenal and once we get back we'll build the diamond meter and then we'll just put that away for the current episode we'll head into the nether and see what we can come across now hopefully when we go there into the nether the last time i was in the nether it looked as though oh getting attacked not today it looked as though we were in a bit of a tough spot. We're like on a sky block in the nether. Like we we're surrounded by lava, but we were kind of on a floating block above all of it. So it's going to make things extremely difficult to find the nether fortress. But we'll have plenty of fun finding diamond or not diamonds. Nether quartz all about. So here's our diamonds right here. And we have our iron pickaxe with fortune three. Okay. You guys ready to do this? We have zero diamonds on us right now. And let's hope we get a crap ton of diamonds. Whoa. Whoa, seven diamonds. Fantastic. Okay, so what's better? Two or seven? You do the math. Okay, so we can definitely afford ourselves a brand new diamond meter, which never runs out, by the way, so that is a good investment. And I believe, let's see, diamond meter, we need two more diamonds for that, so we'll have six, so we'll be able to build a diamond pickaxe as well as a diamond sword. Now, this is a losing battle right here, so let's just take it easy. I don't know where I came across this bow. It's, it's kind of strange. <laughs> Okay, so let's just shoot some little arrows through. I was about to say, let's shoot some bows through, but that's not exactly correct. Okay, so let's just shoot that. Now, a possible thing we could spend a diamond on down the road. We could build ourselves a jukebox, you know, have a little... Whoa, I thought I killed him. What? Come on now. Oh, is that a creeper? Wait, we can get a disc. We can get a disc. Okay. I really can't see what's going on back there. Yeah, I'm just going to drill through. Drill? <laughs> we just have to mine through. We're getting too advanced for Minecraft. Ooh, look at that. Now, we could use the fortune pickaxe on that, on the coal, but I really don't know if we need that. So, you know what? We're just going to hold off, just for a moment. Now, I'm going to dig around here. I'm going to weaken up the... I see how it's going to be. <laughs> we'll just use the rest of this diamond pickaxe that we made ages ago. And we'll see if we can't get this creeper to... Or, oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Good. Whoa! He came from nowhere. Come on, Creeper. Don't blow. Don't blow. Good. Come on now. Come on. Don't blow. One, two. Oh, for gosh sakes. I just wanted the skeleton to do his dirty work, but fine. You know what? Play hopscotch with me. You're dead. Oh, dang it. Hopscotch. I have had enough of you. Your shenanigans have gone far enough. 
Now, once we get to the surface, we'll make the diamond meter, and we'll put that on hold until the next episode where, we'll, where we will just do some pier strip mining, and we'll just see how far we can go. Now, I did say this was going to be an extended episode, so that means 35 to 40 minutes. So basically, we'll go to the nether, we'll explore for no more than 15 or so minutes. I just really don't want to make a really long episode of us just walking around making stupid observations. Like, ooh, look at that, that's ghast. Ooh, look over there, it's a pigment. I really wanted to see some results and in an expedient manner. So in other words... I'm going to explore the nether no matter what while recording this episode, but I'm going to cut out a large majority if we don't find another fortress within the near future. So we'll just see how lucky we can get in the near future while we're in there. And if we do, well, we won't have to cut out too much of that episode. So yeah. So let's just put away our good stuff right now. Or you know what? Let's build the diamond meter right now. I believe we need a block of diamond. And we also need, let's see, a redstone torch. I think that's how you craft it. I really don't remember. Okay, so we need a block of diamond for sure. So just make a block of diamond. Stereotypic. And I believe it's... Oh, wait. We need a redstone torch. For gosh sakes. Now, I have 64 blocks of redstone blocks. And that is a lot of redstone. So, yeah. I just consolidated some space in our gems place. So we could just, you know, make things go simpler. So I believe this is how you make it. Or not. Hmm. Do I have to put diamonds below it like this? You know what? Hold on. I'm just going to pause the episode real quick right here as I look at the recipe for this. So give me a sec. Okay, we're back. Now, it turns out that there is some stone at the very bottom, some cooked stone. Just shows how much I retained from my Minecraft mod spotlights. But we'll just wait for that to smelt real quick, and we will sort out our inventory before we go into the nether. So let's just put away all this good stuff right now. That'll go in there. That'll go in there. We don't need any wheat. Who even carries that on them? <laughs> Now, I'll carry some flint steel on me just in case the portal does get knocked out. So, we will be able to relight it if we have to do that. So, yeah. Fantastic. Just grab plenty of wood and three stone. Please be cooked. There we go. So, we just had to make it like so. I was worried at first we had to have two blocks of diamond and that wouldn't be fun at all. So, I believe this is really it. Let's just see. Yep, diamond meter. Okay, so we will put that in our tools chest for the episode being. And we'll revisit that once... Wait, what's in here? I... Okay, <laughs> I'll remember that. Okay, so, you know what? Let's just do this. We're going to head off to the nether. Actually, you know what? I think during episode 12, the one that was all laggy, I think I might have actually enchanted. Yeah, I, I actually did. I enchanted during that... Whoa! We fell through the portal. How? But we fell through the portal and... Not the portal. We were enchanting. The episode was so laggy and I just earned back all the XP. So there we go. Yeah. That was a bad enchantment anyways. So now we are in our in the nether. We have plenty of torches to... Wait. Oh, they are still angry. Oh, no. This isn't good. Bad start. <laughs> Wait. I don't have good blocks on me. Okay. Now, I don't know how to make them unangry. So I guess I just have to kill this pigman. Now this sword is practically out, which is not good. Oh, we have a spare. Okay. Now, hopefully these guys aren't going to be mad at us, in which case we're going to have to kill them all. Really, dude? <laughs> You're going to make this difficult. Why? Come on. We could have been friends. You brought this upon yourself, Jerry. Oh, one hit. Look at that. Now, I just heard some other pigmen get angry, too. And we're already lagging, so this is a bad start. Now, let's see. Please don't be angry. Please. You know what? If they're all going to be angry, come on. Just come get me. Oh, wow. This is really laggy. I guess the world is rendering at the moment or something like that. Let's just get that brick down real quick and kill these pigmen. Now, this is a guy. This is, this is, a, this is exactly how we ke or ended the last episode. It's just fighting pigmen. Now, I really don't want that to be this episode. Us just in the nether fighting pigmen. But unfortunately, if we have to do it, we have to do it. So I'm just going to kill these pigmen, the ones that are aggroed on me. And then once we are done... Ow! How? How do you even do that? And that sword is broken. So, okay, good. Now, every time I hurt a pigmen, you know, let's just turn it down at red during distance for the time being. And once we do that... Let's see. Are you guys still angry? For goodness sakes. <laughs> Why? I just want to explore your land. Okay. Now, I'm sure he'll be angry on me, too. Okay, fine. 
I, you know what, it's fine. You're stuck. Not a big deal. Now, I don't see any other pigments, so you know what? This might be our big break. Let me just go back to far render distance so we can see ourselves another fortress if we do come across one. Now, you can see what I'm talking about when I was saying we're kind of on a floating island in the nether of sorts. So, you know what? Let's just mine up some of this nether rack so we will be able to make ourselves a land bridge or stack up if we have to. Now, actually, that, or was it that sand statue right there? We're, we didn't bring any sand along with us, so that probably would have been a good idea if we did. You know, I'm just going to leave a torch trail. So we're going to head off in this direction first. Ouch. And we'll just head down here and see if we can't get... Whoa, no, 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 no. You are not knocking me into the lava. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, no. Okay, where's the other pigment? Okay, they are up there, so they will fall on me and take falling damage just to hurt me. So, bad start. Now, I don't want to be in a bad spot when these pigs are angry at me, so... I'm just going to take things ever so carefully. Now, I do not want to get knocked in because we do have our legendary pickaxe on. You know what? Just for safety purposes, I think we're going to go put that back. And, you know, I just don't want to risk it at all. So, we'll just go back real quick, put this in a chest where it is all safe and sound. And then we'll go right back into the nether. I just don't want to lose a really good pickaxe. As soon as we get into the nether, we get pushed by a pigman because I will rage indefinitely. I'll just be like... Wait, we didn't lose that pickaxe. No, it's fine. We'll get back in there. <laughs> the denial, first stage, and then we'll get in there. No diamond pickaxe or what? It, the iron pickaxe that has an uber enchantment on it, and we'll be very sad. I'll be very angry, and you'll be very happy <laughs> because my I hear a magma cube. I heard him sloshing around. Like, <laughs> Where is he? Slosh. Oh, wait, are you angry? Wait a second. This might be. I hear him. Where's he at? Please don't be angry. Oh my goodness. Yes, the first wave of people who don't know of my crimes. Okay. So let's just pick up these nether quartz as we go because they do provide us with XP. And we'll be able to build some really cool marble statues and stuff like that. So you know what? If we want to make a model of the Parthenon, well, we are now capable. So let's just see. This is getting kind of... Kind of scary. Look at this. We're just all surrounded by lava. If we get knocked by a ghast, we really don't. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I only know what was down there. But you know what? Let's just head up real quick. And we'll see if we can't find any places of interest. Let's just look through here real quick. Now, the nether is always laggy on my PC. I don't know why. On my old gaming laptop, I really had no problem in the nether. But for some reason, this laptop, it has an i7 processor and all that good stuff. And uh, people who don't really know computers all that well, an i7 is pretty much top of the line processor, which helps you. Whoa! Is that a... Ha ha! Ha ha! Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! That is Dylan Joy! Fantastic! I think we actually... Whoa! You were trying to ruin me! Why? <laughs> okay. So I think we found ourselves... Yes, we did! Nether Fortress! Ooh. Yes! We did it! I didn't even have to cut out any episode time for this. Now, I am excited. I'm so glad we actually found that without having to go far at all. Well, fantastic. I'm actually legitimately pleased with Minecraft for the very first time ever. Now, I'm going to share with you a very personal story from the beginning days of Minecraft. Now, I joined Minecraft back when it was in pre-beta, I believe. So, that was before enchanting, before villagers, long before a lot of that cool stuff was added. So, um, I have a bit of... I have some Minecraft tools on my belt. Not tools. Uh, experience. That's what it's called. Yeah. Even before experience was added. So, yeah. You, you get where I'm coming from. But at any rate, when I first started off Minecraft, I found my first diamonds on my very first world. It wasn't a server or anything. And I was just playing, you know, and I was unaware of the dangers of lava. So I was just playing, you know, casually. Found some diamonds. I was so excited. And then my mom was like, Dylan, get off the PC. It's time for dinner. And I was like, Mom, I, I just found diamonds. She's like, right, don't worry about it. You'll, you'll find more diamonds. I was like, no, Mom, this is so hard to find. And then she, like, came over to me and, like, flung my mouse trying to get me off. And then I fell into lava. Now, I was so angry. Like, I don't usually get angry over video games because I realize the fact that it's just a game. But I found my first diamonds. And, you know, when you find the first diamonds, you want to keep those diamonds. You want to make a necklace. You don't want to give them to moms for Mother's Day. You just want to keep them. Well, the worst thing ever happened. I died, lost my diamonds, and I was angry for that entire night. I refused to eat my macaroni and cheese. I was so angry. But 
That was my very first Minecraft story of amazingness. If you'd like to share with me a Minecraft story of your own, well, by all means, leave it in the comments down below because I'm sure a lot of you guys have stories like that. Or, you know, it might not have been your mother who interrupted you, or you might have just fell into lava. You know, just let me know. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay, so fantastic. We found ourselves another fortress, and we barely had to look. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch my videos or people who just stumble upon these down the road will know that nether brick or nether fortresses sometimes are extremely difficult to find. And you're probably extremely angry that I just spawned in the nether without knowing where I am or where to go. And I thought, well, that's a ghast. Hey. <laughs> no, sir. Not today. Oh, he's over lava. I'm not wasting it. <laughs> I will conserve my arrows. So this is where we broke through, and let's just explore. Now, number one, what I'm looking for, blaze rods. Number two, oh, look at that, glowstone, fantastic. We are looking for nether wart, so we can get into some potion making. Now, I wasn't expecting to get to the nether and find all the stuff this quickly, but because we have, a lot of our possibilities have opened up, and that is fantastic. So, you know what, let's just mine up all this glowstone real quick and take a look. This is one of the coolest things about nether fortresses, in my opinion, is these little, like, walkways, these little bridges, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're balconies, that's what they're called. Just these little cool balconies. It's like the pigmen were enjoying the view, so you know what? They just made themselves a nice little area where they could view the entire nether. And this is laggy. Oh, dead end. For goodness sakes. Now, I will tell you that I have found some nether fortresses that have not had nether wart, and they have not had spawners for blazes so we're going to have to okay staircase good sign now nether wart first step achievement unlocked all right i'm actually getting so excited about minecraft with like <laughs> i've been excited with minecraft before i've just been like never this blissful about it recently I, i've never really had a reason to be extremely excited with minecraft up until now so fantastic i hope you whoa oh wither skeleton I want what you have to offer. Give me your skull. I, I'm pretty sure they drop coal, too. Now, they also give you the weather or the weather debuff, which is really unfortunate. Now, actually, you know what? While we're just exploring, and um, I just want to take some time to give you guys a channel update real quick. Now, so a couple playlists that I came across on the channel that I made, but really never kept up. Oh, Blaze! That means there's a spawner. Whoa! Um, some things I really want to get done. I want to get back on my groove of, I need water. Oh, no. I remember why I stayed out here. Okay. So, these guys are going to give us some trouble. So, let's just take them out from a distance. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a wither. Stay away. Stop. Stop. Let's just take it easy real quick. But, um, channel update. Uh, what was I about to say? For gosh sakes, I forgot. We were getting attacked and I forgot everything. <laughs> uh, what was I about to say? Um, yes. Minecraft mod spotlight. No, no. <laughs> I am so discombobulated after I got attacked, but um, Minecraft snapshots, that's what they're called. I was up to date with those up every week, and then one week, uh, they did, Dinnerbo did not pat, post a brand new snapshot, so I kind of broke off from there. But don't worry, they will resume every Thursday when one comes out. I will be reviewing them from this point on. Now, Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts information, I kind of came to the realization that other big YouTubers, you know, White Boy 7th Street, Ali A, and all them, they cover them before me, and, you know, when you see a big YouTuber cover something, you're less likely to watch a smaller YouTube cover the same thing. So, you know, I'm just not going to do any more further stuff with that. But don't worry, with Black Ops 2, I will be covering the brand new map packs. I'll be doing gameplays, trailer releases, breakdowns, and all that good stuff. So yeah, you can expect that, but in terms of Black Ops 2, or um, Call of Duty Ghosts, and... Whoa. Whoa. No, you don't knock me in there. That's a bad place. You're a bad man. Knocking me into bad places. And he is juking me. I, I really gotta look out for these guys. Now, I really don't need re my render distance on far anymore, so I guess we'll just go to normal. Now, you see, I can run norm or far render distance on in the overworld, but here, I just can't. I have no idea why. Now, that blaze came from somewhere, and I'm not about to go in there. That's a bad place. My goodness, this is so laggy. Yeah, I'm going to turn on my render distance even further. Man, this is terrible. Okay, so, and we are still lagging. No good. Now, let's just see. Now, I guess we're going to have to go through that lava area in order to find the blaze spawner after all. My worst fear has been realized. No water, no hope, and tons of lava. This is the Minecraft scenario right here. Okay, so you know, we're just going to have to be very careful. 
Now, if we get knocked by a skeleton, this is do or die. So you know what? Let's just make ourselves a nice little bridge right here and see if we can't get around it. Oh, it swallowed up the, all the netherrack. Oh, why? That's not even cool. Okay, this is... Okay, no, I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so let's just make ourselves a nice little area up right here. I have a feeling we're going to get... Oh. Okay, this is going to be scary. Oh, I knew it. Oh, man. Oh, no. 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 Oh, goodness gracious. Please, someone help me. I don't have water. Oh, I got to get to somewhere I know. Oh, no. I might die. Please don't die. No, stop burning. Stop. Stop burning, please. Oh! No. No. Oh, my goodness. Clutch play. Okay, I'm blocking this up. No chances. I don't care. <laughs> that was so... Thank you, Minecraft gods, right now. My goodness. That was a near-death experience right there. Now, there were a ton of blazes back there, so in, in hindsight, we didn't even have to go over that way. So, let's just take it easy real quick, let our health regen. You know, let's just chat while our hat's regening, or health. So, how you fellas doing? You have a nice day today? How, how are those finals treating you all? Taking the SAT recently? Yeah. You seen any good movies? <laughs> nah. Generic small talk is not tolerated. But what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I say this every subscriber Sundays at this point. But Happy Wheels, it's in the near future. Now, I've never really been finding time for it because I, really, I have final exams tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and Wednesday, which is the next day, and I'm out of school after that. So, after that, I'm pretty sure I will have a lot of free time to make Happy Wheels videos. So, if that's something you're into or you've been anticipating that, the wait is almost over. And that will happen every... Now, I'll try and do daily Happy Wheels. But as you all very well know, I'm a very busy person. You know, I got that social life. What's a social life, you might ask? Look it up. <laughs> I'll give you the URL. So let's just... Okay, so we have our first blaze rods. Fantastic. Oh, I got an idea. Nope. Oh, he can fly. I can fly too. I, I just don't cheat, so I don't fly all the time. Now, is it over here? They're gonna... They have to sink in here through somewhere. Either that or they spawn and then they glitch through blocks. So you know what? I'm just going to chisel up right here and see if we can't, you know, find one. Now, I'm pretty sure the ghast sound effect is visible or it's hearable. Is How do you say hearable? Over quite a few blocks. So I don't know if that means I'm really close to the surface or there's just a ghast nearby and they're mocking us. But we have to find this ghast spawner. I guess this isn't quite the right area. <laughs> We've dug up quite a bit. Well, you know what? Before we leave the nether, I do want to find a functional blaze spawner so we won't have to worry about that. But they came from this general direction, which means... Oh, I thought there was one right there for a second. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> that means they've either wandered a long way or they are really close by and there's just a spawner right above my head. But I haven't been able to hear a spawner, so... I guess we have to go back over the lava. Now, this is where it gets scary, so bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, as we trek through the danger zone. Now, oh, yep, I knew it. I, ow, 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 ow. Nope, that's it. We're going back. <laughs> we are going to lose so much health on our armor. Yeah, I'm not even going to balls with it. That's balls deep. We're going over here now. I don't even care. We're taking the, the Bambi route. Oh, wait, no, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Double clutch. Oh my goodness. We are getting so lucky. I don't even, I can't explain. That is so lucky. Wow. <laughs> I guess the Minecraft gods really want to keep us around for right now. So let's just chisel over here. Okay. So we found an area. Now there's lava guzzling. Wow. Cool. Whoa, that lava was going quick. That was speed racer lava. Nope. I don't even care. You're not my friend. I've got no patience for you. So let's just chisel up right here and go right through and see if we can't find that area. Is it right below us? More lava. <laughs> That's not exactly what we want to see. So let's just chisel right over here. Now I'm not hearing any blazes spawning, so it's probably not a good sign. Now, I think once... You know what? I got an idea. Let's just leave right here. And we'll just do an overhead view of the... We're not going to fly or anything. We're not cheating. Not yet. <laughs> we're never going to cheat. This is legit. But um, we're going to leave the Nether Fortress. 
and then we will burrow down and we'll see if we can't find ourselves a spawner by just you know just watching or you know going around this area so hopefully wait have we even gone this way yet no we haven't even gone this way yet so there's a blaze over there and there's blazes over here and there's a wither and there's a magma cube give us magma cubes well fine i don't want to get one anyways <gasps> ah whoa <laughs> I got a bit scared by that. If you see a skeleton, a black skeleton charging at you, that's gonna be, it's life threatening. He wants a beef with you. Come on, shoot, shoot. Shoot if you real. Ha. Oh, he got nothing. I'm blocking. Oh, I. Oh, he, he's poised to attack. That's it. Okay. You know what? We gotta come back in here with a fire potion or something. Now, I believe for. We're really going to look up a fire, or we're going to look up all the recipes for the potions you know what oh nope now that means there's definitely a area over there where blazes spawn i could have just said blaze spawner but you know what i'm too cool for that it's too mainstream so let's just go over here yep here's one found it okay good so let's just make a quick and easy route to and fro so let's just put down our torches and then we are just going to burrow out of here because we can grow nether wart back home so we don't have to worry about that leap of faith Oh, no, if I get knocked off here, I'm done. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean it. Okay. So, let's just go back this way. And that's a drop-off, isn't it? Oh, man. That isn't good. Render distance has to be switched back. Here, can I see my area back over there? Yes, our area is back over there. So, let's just pick up these torches. You know what? No. That's it. Oh, another leap of faith. I have a feeling we're just going to try and jump this one day, and it's not going to work out, and we're going to die horribly. And that's not what we want. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> we are making some ballsy moves here, ladies and gentlemen. So, yep, here it is. Here's our exit right here. So, you know, let's just block this up because we really don't even need this area anymore. So, just block that up so no withers or anything can get through here. And then we'll be safe and sound. So, let's just head back right now to the good old surface world. And we'll check up on the piggies. We don't have any piggies. We'll check up on the cows. And we'll also see how the chickens are faring. Now, the one thing I did try to do during episode 12, which was amazingly laggy, I tried to make a hopper chicken farm, but I quickly realized that the placement of hoppers, like if you've never used a hopper before, there's a little nozzle looking thing on the end of it. And wherever you place it, like the nozzle, it'll go into that adjacent block. Well, I was trying to get hoppers to feed into hoppers, which is possible, but I could not get the placement of the block to work for me at all. So that posed a bit of a challenge for us. You know, let's just make a little bit of a nether rack walkway so we don't have to worry about this anymore. But yeah, I was trying to do that and it was so frustrating, not to mention everything was already extremely laggy. So I just, I got so mad. I wasn't really like shouting or anything. But I had to close the episode. I just had to stop the episode right there because I was just like, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I quit. This is too much. I, I've taken too much from Minecraft today. That looks like a death hole right there. I'm just going to do myself a favor. <laughs> okay, so I believe our area is actually just right up here. So once we get back, I think we have only one or two blaze rods. We have two blaze rods, plenty of glowstone. So, you know what, we'll just get working on our potion brewing in the next episode, I believe. But we'll just get back check everything out, rebreed the cows, and see if we can't make any more bookcases, and I guess we'll call it an episode. That was really cool. We really don't have to venture very far, much further in the nether anymore. We are extremely close to a nether, or a fortress. So, you know what? That is grade A in my book. We don't have to do anything else. None of the cows have grown, so you know what? <laughs> Not a whole lot to do there. I'll just let the sugar canes over here grow, so we don't have to worry about those either. Wow. Not bad at all. Everything is extremely automated. Now, let's see real quick. We have a nether chest over here where we just put all our good stuff from the nether. From our pals in the nether who have been supplying us with goods. Now, let's just see. Now, we'll start growing some nether wart. In the next episode, I think we'll just make another one of these instant houses and put it right over here. And then we'll start working on a dock type of area. All that is coming extremely shortly, so no need to fear. And let's just put that in here. Like so. I think that does it, actually. 
Now all that stone is done. You know, let's just grab this cooked steak. We're almost out. Anyways, <laughs> a full stack is not a whole lot, just so you know. And you know what? I believe that is it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Curse of the Island. I'm going to try and get these out, you know, daily when the summer starts since I'll have a whole lot, a lot more time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more Minecraft episodes like this and amazing content on the SC Gamers channel, I would like you guys to all subscribe. So I will see you guys soon.